it's okay. We just have to stop in here and take care of this one little thing. And then what do you say we go on a picnic? Wow, a picnic? I've never done that before. A at my house, the closest we got to a picnic was scrounging for a lost volume in the shag carpeting. <laughs> Hang on. This will just take a minute. You must be Marnie? That's right, Dad. It's me. Okay, you wanted a minute to explain why you abandoned our family 12 years ago? Why don't you also explain why you tried to kidnap us? Or what you did with the cash from my college savings account? Or maybe you'd rather start with your other family. How do you think I felt when I found out my prom date was my half-brother? Well, go ahead. I'm listening. Oh, by the way, Dad, this is Nate. Nate, Dad. How's it going? Can I talk to you for a second? This is the little thing you had to take care of? Yeah, don't worry, I'll be quick. That man's ruined my entire life. I'm not gonna let him ruin our morning after. Oh, come on, Marnie. I didn't ruin your entire life. 36%. That seems fair. I have a large soy latte for a selfish, rotten, deadbeat dad who can choke on this for all I care. <laughs> I have a large cappuccino for a sensitive, caring, generous lover who totally rocked my world last night. <laughs> and a small macchiato for... Lady, I get that you hate your dad, but I can't say this out loud. So why did you call me dad? Why now? Well, Martin, I'll tell you. There comes a point in a man's life. For me, it was while I was watching CSI. And I saw a corpse on there that looked just like you. Or, you know, I figured you'd look after you'd been in the water a few days. And, and I got to thinking, I could die someday. And I've never seen Asia. So I'm off to Asia. I see. You do? <laughs> Honestly, Marnie, I, I really have been wondering how you've been doing the last 12 years. So tell me everything. Let's start from uh, right after I said to you, I'm going to go get you some Rocky Road for your party. I'll be right back. <laughs> Sorry, I don't have time for that today. Nate and I are going on a picnic, and you can't come. It's just that it's my first one, otherwise it'd be fine. <laughs> no, forget about him, Nate. He certainly forgot all about his wife and children. And other wife and other children. Hey, I was a great father to that other family. They wanted for nothing. I bought other Marnie a car at 16. <laughs> other Marnie? I like the name. Plus, when you have two families, it eliminates slip-ups. This was locked too damn it. I don't know why you guys bother. It's a used record store. You afraid somebody's gonna break in and leave you more copies of Ario Speedwagon? Big words from someone who wipes ass for a living. What's the big deal? Scooch over. Excuse me. What's going on here? Oh, hello, officer. <laughs> you see, I work here. Oh, and... really? You work here in the alley? <laughs> now, look, see, she lost my keys. Look, so... I'm not interested in what she's doing. <laughs> I'm interested in what you're doing. I'm not doing anything. Hey, I'm trying to get. Best you just move along, pal. All right, fine. I'm going. I'm going. Don't forget your bag. <laughs> Unbelievable. You kick a door in in front of a cop and nothing happens. I used to want to be rich. I used to want to be famous. Now all I want to be is a pretty little white girl. It's not because I'm white or pretty. Thank you, by the way. It's the baby bag. What? Everybody loves you when you got a baby bag. Go ahead, try it. Hell no. I'm telling you, this thing is magic. You can have an open beer in one hand and a tire iron covered in blood in the other, and all you're gonna get is smiles. <laughs> Go ahead, give it a try. Damn, this thing is heavy. Where do you think I keep the beer? You know, if you pretty little white girls ever organize, you can make one hell of a game. What are you 
doing? <laughs> nothing, nothing. Just remember, you kiss it, you buy it. Hey, uh, are you sure you're still in the mood to do this? Yes, this is our day and our picnic, and we're having it. Oh, we getting some food for the picnic? I'll get the rocky road. Better late than never, huh? Oh, my God, why are you here? Are you following us? Trying. You guys are pretty fast. I almost lost you. Really? I wonder what that was like. Did you feel scared? Alone? Abandoned? No, it was just like 30 seconds, and I saw you come in here. <laughs> hey, Nate, Nate. I can't seem to get any traction with Marty. Maybe you could put in a word, grease the wheels for me. Uh, Marty just seems a little upset right now. Oh, yeah? Oh, well, let me tell you a little something about Marty. Marty is... Uh... Okay, help me out here. All I remember is she likes ponies. Or was that other Marty? Must have been. I bought her one. Yeah. Look, uh, speaking for my Marnie, from what I picked up and from the fact that she's giving you the finger from behind the salsa right now, I really don't think she's ready to reconnect with you right now. Uh, well, maybe it is too late. I guess she isn't the little girl I vaguely remember. <laughs> you know, she didn't always hate me. In fact, she used to love it when I'd sing this little bedtime song to her. Oh, how'd it go again? Uh, it was on one Monday morning, just about one o'clock, when the great Titanic smashed into an icy rock. All the people began to cry, saying, Lord, we're all gonna die. It was sad when the great ship went down. That's touching, but I don't think Oh, it was sad. So sad. It was sad. Too bad. It was sad when the great ship went down to the bottom of the Husbands and wives, little children lost their life. It was sad. When the great ship went down. People are to oh, they the frozen bodies when they the 15, it's cricket on five with highlights from the final day of the second test, England v India.